Hello everyone, my name is James Ryan and I am here to play for you a game on Congregate. On Congregate. Congregate is a flash gaming website but it also supports Unity 3D games these days and it's the website, uh, it's a website I put some games on, um, not really some, just three kind of, uh, two of them not really that impressive. One was my first attempt at a flash game uh, which was made back when I was first learning about all this programming stuff made with an entirely different program uh, it's called Swish Max or something and then you know it's fine uh, second game my second game was a uh, one of the other games was made in actual flash and it was basically a slideshow about making a bed and the last one was a real game called It's Raining Eggs in which you collected easter eggs with a basket yeah and hopefully I'll be putting up the Unity 3 game, 3D game I make up on Congregate eventually. Anyway, the game we're going to be playing on Congregate today is called Simeon.Interface. If you look over at the game tab, we'll see that it's created by Fabric, or Fabra IQ. So it's quite it's quite a clever name. Fab, it's like Fabric, but it's also like IQ, because he's put I and Q in capital letters there, so that's pretty cool. Um... An av it's got an average rating of 3.93 stars, and 187,563 people have played it. The description is, a spatial reasoning puzzle game for simians. It's also by Vested Interest, another person who's helped, or, or is the same person, and that's just his website, if you click the link. And the music is by Note! Exclamation mark. Cool. It also says, for the best experience, I can download the game and soundtrack. Uh, but that's okay, I'll just play on Congregate, on Congregate for the day. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, a simian, simian basically means a, uh, a primate that isn't human, or a monkey or some sort. I'm not exactly sure of the technical terminology, but basically uh, an ape, or a gorilla, or a chimpanzee. Uh, simians? Well, I'm not sure, actually, but a, chim a chimpanzee is definitely a simian. Uh, so... So, for instance, hu while humans have HIV, human, Im human immunodeficiency virus, uh, uh, chimpanzees have SIV, simian immunodeficiency virus. So, let's uh, whet our appetite for the game uh, by looking at achievements and comments. So, as you can see, it has one badges. Uh, the monkey business badge is there. Let's take a look. So, achievements. The monkey business badge. Prove you're smarter than a simian and complete every puzzle. And the goal checklist is to is game completed, so we need to complete the game and solve every puzzle for that badge. It's worth 15 points, and 49,659 people have been awarded that badge. So let's whet our appetite with the comments. Mr. RRGG says, I can't help but feel as though there's something deeper behind all of these sinister experiments and error messages. But really, I'm just in it for the bananas, so whatever. So that's funny, because he's pretending to be an ape that he's actually a monkey playing the game as an animal testing or something. Uh, Floor Matthew says, While playing this, I thought this is how animals in animal testing feel, just sort of mildly confused as to what's going on, but still intent on completing it. Interesting. Innominate says, I feel like some hither hithero... Hither hitherto? I didn't realise it was pronounced hitherto. Hitherto unknown part of my brain was unlocked and then attacked with a tire ion. That's a golf club, just so you know. And Raxpert says, I don't know if I feel smarter or not from playing this. Finally, last but not least, Cool Carl, cool Carl says, short and sweet. None of the levels longer than 30 to 60 seconds, but it was a nice short thing. So cool, cool. <clears throat> so uh, let's play this game and find out what it is all about. I'm just going to click this restore button that you can't see and bam we should be zoomed in on the game on the game so you ready to proceed or oh, sorry slash slash proceed calibrating neuronal data feed shows the x and y coordinates of my mouse over there intracranial modem connected access level participant dopamine motor active firmware update complete firmware errors found that's not good Loading slash lab slash simian slash interface dot execute. Awaiting module selection. So I can choose from config or mod A. I, I guess that either stands for mod as in modification or module A. Uh, so let's go to config. And let's turn this volume up because I can't actually hear it. 
10 seems good. Input default, click and drag or keyboard. I'll go with default. And uh, that's good. Now we can go to mod A. So what's going on? Use login participant 011. Next in probe charging. Experience trial A A A ready for user. Proceed. Uh, so okay, this is interesting. So I'm gonna move my mouse. These things move and uh, I'm just gonna move it like so. Okay. Okay, focus lost. I don't put it on the edge of the screen, so let's put these squares together. Cool. And that's when you're like, what the heck am I supposed to be? Sorry, I just, I played a few levels, uh, but not many. So I guess I do this. Yep. There we go. And okay, I haven't played this level. What's this? Uh, okay. Uh, I see. So I move left and right. This moves. So if I move up and down, these move. So if I do this, there we go. Cool. Ah, uh, this is interesting. Oh, oh I see. Okay. Cool. There we go. What the? Okay. This one moves left and right. What the? Okay, I just like if I just move around the mouse, I think I get. I think I get it. There we go. I don't know why it just seems like I just get it. I don't even need to think about it. I just understand. This is probably the type of things they would actually do on Simians because it's so easy. Hang on. Experon 201 trial AAA complete. Next in reward. Ready for user. Plasma dopamine. 17 milligrams per milliliter. If I take a reward, that should go up, shouldn't it? Yeah. Administered. That's how they train things. They administer dopamine by giving them bananas and stuff, you know. It's reward. Let's go to module B. Use a login for this one. 001, Steam Probe Charging, Experiment Trial, A8B, ready for user. Errant Subroutine, DM30WX, exclamation mark. Well, that doesn't sound good. These things are moving in the background along with me. Proceed. Okay. So this one controls the... The mouse controls just the position of this, uh, except translated. Uh, but the mouse... But the left and right movement also controls the rotation of this. That's interesting. Anyway, uh, really, this game is basically kind of like a mouse over game. So if you, when you mouse over the right point in space, you know everything will just be fine. But it's, what's more interesting is the way things move in response to how your mouse moves. So this one, this time, I'm controlling the height and stuff of this object. This, this guy has just coded this stuff in, and what I would have considered a nice, uh, silly little experiment, useful in getting code, he's actually turned into a game. So kudos on him. So smart. There ah, we go. Bam. I, I, I feel like it, it's really weird because I don't actually have, You could think about the level and then eventually it'll make sense, but you can also just go ahead with it intuitively. Okay, so when I do that, that moves. When I do this, these move. I see. So I, I guess I do have to think about it a little. Bam! Okay, I thought about that one. Something just appeared there. What the heck was that? Cat? Let's get these things aligned. That cube there is not moving. So close. Whoa. What the in the heck? Ready for user. Plasma dopamine. Let's get that dopamine. Yummy banana. Um, module C. Well, we'll do module C next episode.